Oh my god, hey! Welcome to the video. For those who came from my TikTok, welcome. I knew I could get you guys to come over here eventually. But if you don't follow my TikTok and don't know what's going on, quick summary. I have a series on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts and Reels following my original character Genevieve Montgomery as well as her right hand man slash secretary the main hero and the hero's sidekick. The main focus of this series is just silly goofy moments with the gang surrounding Genevieve, but recently one of these videos went viral on TikTok and someone proposed the question of if some of these characters had actual designs and I have come to deliver. So for those who know these characters, you'll be happy to know that the villain's right hand and the hero's sidekick finally have actual designs. Kind of. They're still drawn entirely with their respective monochromatic colour palettes, so right hand is still in classic blue and sidekick is that purpley lavender. But before I get into that, I have a few updates, mostly just one which you can probably hear. I have a microphone now, like an actual mic. I'm not using the mic on my headset anymore. So now I have like an actually good quality mic that I'm using. So far I'm really happy with it. It's the Razer Siren Mini and also it's the exact same shade of pink as my headset is. It's in like gamer pink if you know it. If you know, you know. Yeah, but anyway, I have a mic now. It's so much better than the headset, obviously. And it's quite small so it fits pretty nicely on my desk. I also have a shield for it which is great. And setting it up was really simple, it was a very easy assembly and I just had to plug it in and switch a few settings around before we were good to go. So I'm very excited to start doing recording with an actual mic now. So um, updates aside, let's get back on track with the sidekicks, the, the side pieces of the hero slash villain story. So first up on the chopping block is the villain's right hand and or secretary. I kind of flip flop between the two titles sometimes. So they're basically like a second in command for Genevieve, the main villain. For the purposes of this video, we're just gonna call them secretary for now. So secretary's job is to basically just be a manager for the henchmen. If you don't know who the henchmen are, um, they're just like little egg guys. I've made a few TikToks about them before. And they're also like an organizer for Genevieve's evil villain schemes. They supervise the building of machinery and weaponry and also organize meetings and appearances, quote unquote, for the main villain. Secretary has a great admiration for Genevieve and their views and opinions. They believe that when they take over the world, Genevieve is going to remake it to be better. They're loyal and will stick by her no matter what, even if it means being shunned by the city. Luckily, since they work mostly behind the scenes, they don't have to worry about being beaten up in public, but they're still careful and wear a disguise when they're out and about so they don't get jumped. Like I said, their role is more behind the scenes, organizing the villain's minions and activities, which is why they're not super strong. While they don't have any innate super abilities, they are incredibly intelligent, having come up with a lot of their own weapons and gadgets for their boss and employees. They're also very prideful, boasting about their genius and prowess to anyone they consider basically beneath them. But like I said before, being in an actual fight isn't exactly their forte, which is why they kind of get their ass handed to them by the hero's sidekick. The hero's sidekick, who we'll just call psychic for this video, is quite new to the hero business. They want to be a fully fledged hero someday, but since they're so new to the scene, they're stuck being the main hero's side piece for now. Which they really are okay with. They're incredibly patient and understanding, so they don't mind being in such a position, even if they are usually just fetching coffee and snacks for the other bigger heroes. They aren't usually on the fighting field, only really doing rescue operations, giving medical assistance and cleaning up after all the action, and unlike Secretary, they do have innate powers, which are that of plant manipulation. They can grow plants and vines, which are pretty strong to basically attack with them, move objects that are large and small, and also use them for mobility. Despite being such a small hero, they are very strong and they use that strength to help people. 
As kind of the opposite of secretary, sidekick is not really that intelligent. They have a bad case of himbo and are kind of all brawn and just a little tiny bit of brain. If secretary is the moon, then sidekick is 1000% the sun, bright and bubbly, giving warmth and comfort to all those they meet. Sidekick and Secretary have met a few times. The first was when they each accompanied their respective bosses to a battle and fought against each other for the first time. After then, it seems like they both keep quote unquote coincidentally bumping into each other on quote unquote evil schemes or on quote unquote late night patrols. They both swear that they hate the other, claiming that they're too prideful and arrogant and too bubbly and blinding, but we'll just have to see. And you will see. I love these guys a lot and I have a lot planned for them, as well as Genevieve and the main hero. I probably will make a similar video to this with both of their official designs with Genevieve Montgomery, the main villain, and the main hero. I also definitely will be making more TikToks, obviously. I don't know at this time if I want to actually make a story with them, like have a plot and like, you know, a s series of events. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but at the moment, it's just going to be silly, goofy TikTok sounds and some silly fun, family-friendly fun for the whole gang. Probably not family-friendly. Let's keep the kids away just in case. I also don't know if you've noticed, this is unrelated to the hero and villain stuff. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I have a new outro as well. Like two weeks ago, I posted about my new intro. But at that time, I didn't have my new outro. While I was making that, I was just like, well, if I'm making a whole new intro, I might as well make a different outro as well. So pay attention to that at the end because it's so cute. It's so cute. I'm so proud of how I've designed and drawn them and like animated them. I think it's a huge improvement from when I first started making videos. It had a very old, like, um, intro and it had the same the outro was the same as the intro and i didn't do voiceover at all but now i have some really really nice intro and outro and i do voiceover with an actual mic now so i'm very very proud of how my channel's turning out in the small time since i've had it i've only been posting and recording videos for about five months i think we actually might be coming up to about six months soon which is going to be very exciting i don't know if i'm going to do anything for six month channel anniversary yet but we'll see also i was also thinking about doing streaming so like a drawing stream where i just screen record and draw stuff i don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in but if you are do let me know because that is something i was interested in like looking into for the channel so that would be that might be fun to do i don't know if i want to stream here on youtube or go to twitch twitch is like kind of where all the big scary people are so but that's all for today um thank you for being here and putting up with all this rambling if you enjoyed please stay and if you wanted to support me please like and subscribe and consider donating to my Kofi if you're interested in and if you have any feedback or suggestions let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you guys and yeah um that's it have a great day and I'll see you next time bye